Hey, good morning everybody. KD2TFJ here. Um, I want to do another video again on this um, project of mine. Um, I did a few videos. Um, one video came out kind of bad. I didn't really like how it came out and that's when I was doing um, mounting this. Um, Re-mounting uh, it actually. Um, this is the chimney up here in the center of my roof. And um, I had, had it on this side which is the east facing side of my um, chimney if you will and um, these bricks over here were um, one was good one was bad down there were um, apparently were bad so I went with replacing I mean re um, placing it yeah um, onto this side um, I did that about a day ago and um, or two days ago actually um, so um, I have it in perfect really good um, right now I'm working with trying to ground it out I'm trying to figure out where I'm going to ground it to um, I'm going to have to probably get a very long ground wire to ground it off these um, um, stacks here apparently are grounded down in the, um, they, they go to a grounding um, post in the, um, um, the evac room I found that out from the evac guy himself, uh, one of the um, technicians for them, and I just put it there now to see if I can um, um, ground it to here. I'm not sure if I'm going to do that because this is aluminum, but he said that they had to ground it, so I'm guessing um, just in case they were to get any um, static discharge up here from lightning or whatever, it's grounded off. I want to ground it um to ground downstairs but this is of course a city and <laughs> it's very hard to ground stuff in um um see that's down there that's my driveway here that goes to the backyard and the only way I'll be able to ground it six inch uh, well six feet down in that I will have to somehow get a professional style drill to um to do that and this is the other side this is the backyard so i would have to somehow um uh i guess find a way to get into the um the ground here somehow and uh not have it so you know so evasive in everybody's way um if this was a house somewhere where it was just my place it would be simple but it's not so what i'm trying to do with this project now is find a good way to ground this I may be able to use the ground that they use for the evac which is right under here there is a ground um, that goes um, to ground not the building electron uh, electrical it goes to ground but I will have to get a longer grounding wire and I don't want to bring it in the building see now that's the thing um, I don't want to bring a possible lightning strike into the building typically you want to get it away from the building right and to ground so that is my dilemma right now i was also thinking about going over this side and trying to use what the cable people use which is all the way over here um verizon and um some of the direct tv that was here direct tv nobody uses it here no more it was the people that was here a few years ago everybody in the building is using verizon from what i know so they do have um, some grounding, of course, for their equipment down there. So I might go along, go straight down here from the, 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 the staff and go down the side of the building and go to um, their ground. So I will have to probably get more line and go from here because I only have about 45 feet, uh, 40 feet, sorry, 40 feet of wire. This is 40 feet. So um, it, from the bottom... I have it there right now, but I'm not going to leave it there. I don't think so. Um, he said, um, the technician did say that this, that um, the ground that they do use is made just in case they do get hit by lightning or whatever. But I'm not 100% sure if I want to go with doing that too. He said that that's what they, you know, that's what they have to do. They have to have it ground because these staffs are high up um, on the roof or whatnot. So, and then everywhere else, as you can see, nobody else here has a um, higher point. We're all about the same height here, except for the school. 
and that's not really good and even they don't have uh it doesn't look like they have any lightning rods up there either and that's about a five-story building um six stories if you count if you one two three four so it's four-story building um fifth floor would i mean the fifth landing would be the roof and they don't have it up there at all and even on that higher mass over here they don't have it on that either i don't think I, maybe that is i would have to use my drone to see if they do but being that that's so far away from where I'm at, there's, you know, lightning can pick wherever the hell it wants to pick. So what I want to do, I want to work with it, see what I can do. I'm, I'm looking into this and trying to figure out good thing. We have some better weather this week than we did the past few weeks. We had lightning storms and really bad thunderstorms. I mean, well, you know, the storms were the past few weeks. So this is in really tight. Um, it only has a little bit of play, very little. Um, of course, the top is the part that's moving this most. Okay, guys, so that's, um, this is how my uh, antenna looks. It's performing excellent, I mean, very good. Um, for Yo, uh, this is VHF and UHF, so this is on the 2 meter and the 70 centimeter bands. And um, this antenna from Home Depot, uh, this is a tram, uh, 1477, and it is... Uh, <laughs> great antenna um that's my first um uh vertical antenna for a base station and um it works very good i've had i mean i am i'm getting out there um very clear everybody hears me very clearly very far so um you know that is definitely what you want to have when you have an antenna and it's very it's very good and high you know it's it's a it's about uh, it's way higher than all the houses out here, and we are in the we're in the mountains in a general sense. We're 132 feet up. There's nothing other than going due west. Um, there's no mountains. Everything is really lower than us in every direction. Um, except yeah, every direction except for west. Um, I believe we are higher than most things right here. There's a little hill right here, but it's not that much of a difference. It's not that high at all. Um, so we're high up here. We're really high. So I'm getting out there um, pretty good. Other than getting west, you know, I will have to have my HF set up for that. Um, once I get my general license, I'll have my, um, I'm going to stretch. I already know how I'm going to do it. I'm going to stretch it. Um, the antenna from the side of the building over there up into this tree, which is pretty freaking high up here above my house, which is going to be easy for me to, to do. And then I want to have it go over there to the next side of the trees over here. And that would be my um, HF um, antenna um, um, set up with the, um, the coax coming straight down and um, going into my apartment here. Um, I have a window on this side and a window on that side. So one of, the, one, one of those would work. <laughs> All right, guys. Um, thanks for uh, watching. And uh, once again, this is KD2TFJ, Chris. Um, in Irvington, New Jersey. Um, this is my tram 1477 from Home Depot. Um, the mass is from Home Depot, just for everybody to know. Um, it's just um, regular piping, um, 10 foot piping. Um, the, the mounts here are from, if I'm right, I got these from Amazon. Yeah, I'll leave everything in the, in the description. Um, I got those from Amazon. Um, they came pretty fast, as always. Um, and, uh, yeah, that's it. Uh, the, the ground wire came from Home Depot. Um, I'll put that in the description if you need it, but it's in Home Depot. They have wire for sale. The coaxial is a 40, I think it's a 40, no, 60 foot, um, coaxial, um, cable. I got that from home, um, um, Amazon as well. Um, so everything is um, bought Amazon mostly and Home Depot. And this is a quick, easy um, job. I mean, it's not that hard at all. I did it. It's not as hard. You know, you got to hope, you know, maybe your situation is better than mine sometimes. You got to deal with what you got and you got to play with what you have. And uh, I was able to get it this way and it's um, working pretty good. I got it straight up. Only thing I have to work on now is, of course, is grounding it out. And uh, anybody got any comments or any uh, suggestions, uh, um, leave a comment. Definitely leave a comment. And um, I'm going to probably take this out of here more likely. Um, I'm going to take it. I just put it up there to see, you know, just to play around with it. 
and might just take it out of there. Uh, if he said, uh, if the technician says that I can do it, I didn't ask him if I could, but I asked him is it, if it's grounded off, if the stacks are grounded off. So I might ask him if I can do it, if I can um, use it as a grounding for um, for lightning for my rod. May not. I'm really not thinking. I'm not really sure um, if I want to do that. I really am not sure. I really am pushing more towards that's getting extra uh, another 30 feet of of wire. Drop the wire straight down and go to one of the grounding um, lines that they have for cable because they have a whole bunch over there with um, Verizon and um, Direct TV. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Catch you on the airways. Seven three.